methane, or DIM, is a natural substance and it's found in vegetables like broccoli, cabbage and cauliflower. Traditionally, it was used as an add-on to prevent the recurrence of a rare respiratory disease. But this compound is now being investigated as a cancer preventing agent. methane is the main metabolite of indole-3-carbonyl, or I3C, and this is a substance with potential anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory and chemo-preventative properties. Epidemiological evidence suggests that a higher dietary intake of brassica vegetables, like broccoli, cabbage and Brussels sprouts, protects against multiple types of cancer. The methane is one of the most promising anti-tumour agents derived from these vegetables. The US National Cancer Institute has carried out several pilot trials on DIM as a therapeutic agent for numerous forms of cancer. It can help to prevent respiratory papillomatosis recurrence. It's a promising cancer preventative compound and there's few adverse effects reported. In a clinical trial on 64 women with abnormal cell growth on the cervical lining that can develop into cervical cancer, the oral methane improved the lesions and it reduced the need for surgery. However, it failed to resolve the condition and to prevent the HPV infection in another trial on over 500 women. Intravaginal DIM suppositories were more effective in another trial on 78 women. Its precursor, indole carbonyl given by mouth, improved the condition, but it didn't prevent the HPV infection in a clinical trial on 30 women. It also improved abnormal cell growth on the lining of the vulva in another trial on 12 women. In cell-based studies, it prevented the growth of cervical cancer cells, promoted their death and increased their sensitivity to radiotherapy. A meta-analysis of 13 studies on almost 19,000 women associated the intake of cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cabbage with a reduced incidence of breast cancer. This effect might be due to the anti-estrogenic effect of the indole 3-carbonyl. Both the DIM and the indole-3-carbonyl reduce the risk of breast cancer by activating a pathway that prevents the formation of active oestrogen hormones in four clinical trials on almost 200 women. In a clinical trial on 18 women with a mutation that increases the risk of breast cancer, the BRCA1, oral DIM activated the mutated gene, possibly helping to prevent the breast cancer. In animal and cell-based studies, the methane reduced the breast cancer cell growth, promoted their death and prevented the tumour from spreading. In two pilot trials on over 150 people with prostate cancer who underwent tumour removal, taking methane before surgery reduced the activation of a gene that promotes the prostate cancer growth. And it prevented the formation of active oestrogen hormones. The DIM also induced prostate cancer cell death and stopped the growth in mice and in cell studies. Women are more prone to thyroid cancer because thyroid cells are responsive to oestrogens. In a pilot study on seven women with abnormal thyroid cell growth that can develop into thyroid cancer, the methane prevented the formation of active oestrogen hormones. In cells, the methane prevented the formation of new blood vessels, which is essential to sustain a tumour's growth. The consumption of cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, Brussels sprouts and cabbage has been associated with a reduced incidence of liver cancer in multiple studies. In one study in mice with liver cancer, it prevented the cancer cells from spreading and invading the other tissues. Respiratory Papillomatosis is a rare disease where the human papillomavirus, the HPV virus, infects the respiratory tract and it causes the growth of warts. Although not approved by the FDA, methane and indole-3-carbonyl are commonly used as add-on therapies to prevent the recurrence of this condition. In a clinical trial on 33 people with this condition, the indole-3-carbonyl, after the surgical removal of respiratory papillomatosis, those 21 had a total or partial response that reduced the papillomatosis recurrence and the need for surgery. The indole carbonyl caused no side effects in the average follow-up period of almost five years. 
diendolmethane exerts an antifibrosis, antitumor, antioxidant, immunomodulatory, detoxification, and anti-inflammation effect on the liver. It also reduces microbial-induced liver injuries. It ameliorates experimental liver fibrosis induced by theoacetamide in mice. And in one study, it blocked hepatocellular carcinoma cells. The diendolmethane reduced steatosis and the progression of non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, in methionine-choline diet-induced mice. It also could effectively suppress acute liver inflammation caused by Staphylococcus enterotoxin B and thus reduce the SEB-mediated liver injury. People on radiotherapy often experience a drop in the number of blood cells due to the effects of the radiation on the bone marrow. In mice, the diendolmethane reduced the negative effect of the radiation. When the inner lining of the blood vessels is damaged, example from placing a catheter, the growth of new tissue to repair the injury can cause the arteries to narrow and increase the risk of heart disease. In mice with this type of injury in the arteries, the DIM reduced the cell growth and inflammation. In obese mice who were fed a high fat diet, injected indole carbonyl reduced the body weight, fat buildup and inflammation. Injected methane was well tolerated at single doses of up to 200 mg in a clinical trial on 28 healthy people. Similarly, oral methane was well tolerated and didn't cause any signs of toxicity at doses up to 2 mg per kg per day in another study on 64 women who were at risk of developing cervical cancer. Diendolmethane was generally well tolerated in clinical trials and it only caused mild adverse effects such as headaches, dizziness, digestive issues like bloating, loss of appetite and nausea, and menstrual spotting. In male rats, high doses, 50 mg per kg, damaged the testicles and reduced the sperm quality.